Welcome back to another video guys and welcome back to the Turbo S. Is it? No, oh, no it didn't do the pops. There you go, a couple pops. I'm really enjoying the quick silver exhaust. It's changed the experience of this car. High end, it sounds like a GT3. And then it does all those pops and bangs, which are just so satisfying. All you do is you lift off the throttle at high revs. Ready? <laughs> it just adds a whole new dimension to the car. It is so, yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely nailed it because you can do long trips like I'm doing today. So I've been driving to Saint-Tropez, about a two hour drive. So I've been on the motorway for most of the way. And then when you get into kind of little roads around Saint-Tropez, it starts to get quite fun. And then you go into sport, it starts popping, making all these great noises and it's, it's just fantastic. Anyways, today we are going on house visits, guys. Because I've seen that on a few kind of housing videos that I've done, you guys have really enjoyed looking around properties around the south of France where you get some incredible properties for some pretty incredible prices so I saw that you enjoyed the housing project that I was just involved in and other houses that I've showed you so today I'm kind of doing my own research for myself in terms of what properties are around on the market at the moment in the Saint Tropez area for um, rentals and um, for sale so yeah just kind of to see what's out in the market not that I or anyone I know are particularly looking for something but it's good always to kind of know what's out there um, and also to share with you guys. Um, so the idea is today we're gonna do one or maybe two visits, I think, uh, with some friends. I'm gonna show you the houses so that you can get um, you can get a proper idea of what's out there. So that's what we're doing now. I'm just en route, crazy traffic today, but hopefully we should be there not too long. So we've made it to the house. I'm gonna give you a quick whistle stop tour of this first house, which is unbelievably well located um, here in Saint-Tropez. So we're super close to the beach, super close to town. There's everything you need here. And I've just had a quick look around and this is the thing of dreams. We've got five bedrooms, uh, well, actually another bedroom downstairs. So it total of six kind of water rooms, um, bathrooms and six rooms. And then we've got loads of indoor and outdoor space, 3,800 square meters of outdoor space and 400 of indoor. Porsche parked up right there, which looks pretty cool. You can tell there's a huge driveway. Um, so you can fit, I don't know, like 10, 15 cars easily. And the whole house has just been completely renovated. So really cool to be able to have a proper look around. This is for sale, but also in the meantime, available for rental. And I'll put kind of links and everything down below. So you've got a covered area right here for a few cars, and then you can put as many cars as you want around. When you come in, uh, obviously you've got the little buttons for the alarm system, and then this huge wooden door, which is beautiful. And you're welcomed by this instant kind of indoor outdoor living which is the theme of the entire house so you come in there's a little welcome area where you can put your helmets you can put all sorts of things like that and then you've got the main living space the main living room you'll see the theme around here are these big light colored tiles and a, and a usage of wood all around the house um, really nice kind of modern look from the inside but the outside of the house has stayed quite classic big screen and as soon as you come in you got these huge windows. These are all electric, of course, so, so are the curtains. So you just press buttons, all sorts of gadgets to open and close the house up. And then this huge outdoor area. And it's hard to put in context through camera how big this is, but you've got this really nice, lovely pool, which has these awesome looking tiles. Um, and then obviously loads of sunbeds and the gardens which go all the way around. And we'll get onto the rest of that in a little bit. But this is what I was telling you about the kind of modern interior with uh, the slightly older looking exterior mixes really well, all quite square uh, and done to look as, as uh, modern as possible. So then you've got the, um, the wood all around. This continues to the kitchen slash dining room. It's all done in this kind of open uh, space as they do more and more often with, uh, with these kinds of modern houses. Big bar here with the marble countertop. Um, so obviously electric cooking, you've got all sorts of, well, you've got all your amenities, you've got your microwaves, you've got your oven and all the fridges, everything is hidden so that it has one smooth, cool look. Huge dining table, seats 10 comfortably uh, with this, again, wooden uh, top right there. The lights, I really like the usage of, of lights as design pieces. So you've got these three here and then these much more beachy looking uh, lights out there. We've got another outdoor table right next to the barbecue. And as you can tell, it's slightly higher, um, which I think gives a nice uh, difference between the outdoor living and the indoor living right there. Obviously, still all these big uh, electric windows and curtains. 
lots of little kind of design details as you go around. These are brilliant at night. We'll stay on the inside and then do the outside. So you come through here where you have this little kind of reading spot, um, photos uh, and all of that kind of stuff. And then you come to one of the first bedrooms. So each bedroom has its own um, bathroom. So right here you can see it's all finished with this nice marble as well. So bathroom right there. And then when you come through, you've actually got your own dressing room as well in most of these bedrooms. So all finished in wood, like the rest of the house. And they're all spacious. So this is obviously a guest room. You can tell you've got the Porsche right outside. It's kind of a cool view. If you're into cars, this is the room you need to take. Um, it's also got a separate bathroom right here as you can tell with its shower. So the toilet's over there, but then the uh, shower is here. Two sinks, hello. Um, nice modern TVs in each room, lots of space. I'm gonna kind of go through because we've got a lot of things to look at, 400 square meters. Another outdoor space right here, which is really nice looking. Um, so obviously you've got your little, this is like where you'd have a little drink before dinner, or if you're just chilling with friends, having a cup of coffee, you can come here. It's got those same cool looking lights. <clears throat> this is the main corridor with, again, all of the guest bedrooms. So as mentioned, all with their own bathroom, good closet space, and a nice big bed, lots of light, windows all along, even the corridor. We come on to another guest bathroom right here, which has a similar layout as well, with yet again, its own nice, modern, bright bathroom. And then when you come through here, we now come on to the master bedroom. So the master has these beautiful views over the whole kind of outdoor space of the house. So loads of light pouring in. We've then got this big bathroom, as you can tell, huge shower as well, double um, shower heads. Everything's done in double here. Um, looks really cool. Again, with a great usage of marble. Toilet in there. And then this big mirrored um, surface with obviously the double sinks. You come through and then we've got the closet. Um, which is again ample space and then the master bedroom. So the master look at this. I mean huge bed Beautiful views again on all of the outside of the house the pool, which I think looks really nice It's, it's uh, done a lot now to have the water kind of coming right up to the edge of the pool So it looks like the pools almost synonymous with the terrace awesome palm trees as well It has its own little balcony right here so a little balcony if you want to come out you know chat with the people around the pool this is all going to be redone i'll talk to you about that in a second and here we have the petonk um area so this is really really cool very centropay you have this a lot down here with a massive chill out area big um sofas so that's the master we've seen most of the guest bedrooms as well and then we have if we continue down this way a few, this is going to be, you know, kind of, you can have laundry rooms or whatever you want, um, you know, garage space as well. You can, that's not quite finished yet. It's still being uh, used for the rest of the construction of the house. We've got another bedroom. This is a really nice big bedroom. So um, closet space there, big room, huge windows. Again, looking out to that shed out area, windows out onto this side of the garden and a big bathroom for this room. So this one's got a huge bath, really nice. Cool looking, the marble all around is stunning. And then a big rainfall shower as well. Mirrors all over the place, as you can tell. Now it's really cool. I mean, what do you think of this, guys? I enjoy doing these little, these little tours. I mean, I know it's not what we're used to, but now we come down. So everything's on one level. Oh, let me show you this as well. Everything's on one level, but that means you've got these huge um, ceilings, really high ceilings, which is a nice touch often with these modern houses. You won't get much um, ceiling height. So when you come down here, you've got the last bedroom. This one being really nice. Um, big bedroom, sort of separate as well. So uh, yeah, you can have this as almost its kind of own little living space. Loads of closet space as per usual. And then its own really nice bathroom. I love the finish in this bathroom as well. All white, all nice and clean with a dark shower. And out here, they're about to finish building a um, terrace. So you could just walk straight out of this room if you so please and you can come out and here explore this chill out area which is really nice very welcoming with these big sofas and then here if you want to just have a drink play some petanque with your friends um, it's just a really nice touch you've got statues all over the place you've got a little crocodile over there all of these cool statues 
It's a really nice kind of homey feeling. So it's modern, but it doesn't feel too cold, which is often the problem with these newer looking homes. And this pool is just absolutely stunning. Big garden space all around, all completely maintained. This house is obviously to um, for sale, first of all. And then I'll put all the details down below if you're curious and want to get all of the details that will all be down below. But then also probably, you know, end of the year or next season will also be available for rentals. But yeah, cool to be able to walk around, see these kinds of houses, um, you know, be able to see what's out there uh, and just, you know, be able to explore the kind of developments that are going on at the moment. So super cool. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of, uh, kind of theme, kind of video. And uh, we're going to go see another house. I'm not sure if we're going to put it in the same video or if we're going to do two separate. I think we'll probably do two separate. So uh, thanks for watching. Another video coming very soon of another awesome looking house around here. Subscribe if you aren't already. Remember all the links will be down below. See you soon. Bye bye.